family. Tommy, Derek, Gloria, and Loripa ready for action. Playing against the Wexter family. Rachel, Kim, Rex, and Laura. On your mark. Let's start the family feud. Here's the star of family feud. Very good. Welcome to the one hour edition of The View. What a lovely audience. Sweet Michelle. Michelle, I saw her in this, I think it was called The Writing on the Wall. And it was at CBS a couple of days ago. It was wonderful. Hal Linden and her. You were, give her a big round of applause. She was great. You were wonderful. And reason. The reason I was able to see your show, I've been in bed for like almost 10 days. Very hot, feverish. I was in bed with 105. There's a lot of people in one bed. <laughs> Remember those shows? What a crowd. What a crowd. <laughs> I went to the doctor because I really felt rotten. I said, what shall I do, doc? He said, just go over by the window and stick your tongue out. I said, why? He said, I'm mad at the guy across the road. <laughs> but I'm better now. Richard, this is my son, Derek, who is a computer consultant. Welcome, Derek. My daughter, Taloria, who is a receptionist. Thank you, Laura. And my retired mother, Larissa, who is a data processor. All right. Give him a big book. I love his name. Thank you. He's delighted your hand. Thank you. All is well? So far. Working computers? I'm doing it sometimes. You know, because we're all computers. Computerized here. If anything goes wrong, you'll help us. Yeah. Call me. Call Just call me. you. Yeah. We'll say Derek, and you'll. <laughs> oh, Lori, I love that name. Thank you. Never seen that name before. Actually, it's a combination of my mom, Tommy, and my grandmother, Larissa. Ah, uh, right. A shared name. Yeah. <laughs> kind of fun. Yeah, real fun. Could be lots of love for this family right here. Yeah. Family here's only telling you. They went to. Sweet Laura. How are you? My husband, Rex. Well, he's a lucky man. <laughs> Thank you. Um, he is a teacher and also a high school pastor. We're delighted to hear that. Thanks for being a teacher. <laughs> and my daughter, Rachel, she's 16, a junior. 16. And my niece, Kimberly, she will be graduating from college in June and getting married in June. <laughs> Rachel, your only daughter? No. Well, my only daughter, yes. I'm but but I have a son also. And his name? Seth. Seth. Yes. A nice old... Is he there? Yeah. <laughs> if you win, we can get him on camera. Okay. <laughs> I said thanks for being a teacher, because that's a great and noble profession. Thank that's you. wonderful. Thank you. How long have you been doing it? Oh, about uh, 18 years. Was he good? I bet he is. Sweet 16. <laughs> and you're getting married what day? Um, June 24th. We're going to cheer on June 24th? Yeah! Three questions here. We're daring amounts of money. Build up that bankroll. Get a whole lot of money. First question is worth $500. This question we asked 100 women is a multiple choice question. We're just looking for that number one bankroll answer. Here's the question. We asked 100 women. In what area of your life is success most important? Yeah. Children. Children? And remember, 100 women, multiple choice question. I said, in what area of your life is success most important to you? Career, marriage, or motherhood? 
motherhood. That, that, that would be the same. That's answer. just a wild guess, but wouldn't that be the same as children? That is the same answer. All right, give me one of the other answers. Marriage. Marriage? I want to I should take half of that money for giving you another chance. Three thousand, the least you'll play for. This question is worth one thousand five hundred dollars. Here's the question: Tell me something your parents wanted you to do because they never had a chance to do it. Yes, go to college. Go to college. That's the way. Yes, yes, yes. Four thousand five hundred dollars in your bank. Good chance. Big move here, Laura. This last question, bankroll question, two thousand five hundred dollars. Here it is. What's the most fat? What is the most fattening baked good you can eat? Yeah, okay. Let them eat cake. Yes, yes, yes. Twenty five hundred dollars for Laura. I knew you'd come back. Seven thousand for Derek and his family. But to get it, they gotta win the field. So I think it's gonna be fun. We'll be back right after this. Stay off! Yeah, yeah, you ain't a much. He's very fast. Being fast is no good. You know, he's got to, but he had the right. Come on, let's play the game. Here we go. The first team, 300 points, wins this game. You win it. Go on the second half of our show. Everything's doubled. It's been a whole lot of money, all right? Yes. Okay. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a place where men go to get away from women. Um, a gym. A gym. Two answers for Vita. A bar. Um, is that a bar? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll give you know. <laughs> Place where men go to get away from women. Uh, place where they go to get away from women. Ah, I go to play sports. Is that the same as the ball? As the ball? I'm going to give you one more motherhood question. <laughs> we, would need a, we would need a specific uh, sport. Yeah. Place where men go to get away from women. Basketball. They play basketball. All right. They play basketball. No, no, no. Place where they can go to get away from women. How about work? Let's see. Any of our 100 people say work? Uh, no, no, we got two strikes. To the rescue, please. Oh, where do you think men go just to get away from women? Where would they go? To the park. To the park? Yeah. If it's there, all right. If not, third drive the park. No. No. The yeah, answers are unrevealed. Where do they go? They go um, oh, uh, place where men go to get away from women. They go to and play cards with each other. A oh, poker, right. cards. Um, okay. All right. They go to play cards. If it's there, you're on the board. If not, we can come. Play cards. Uh, oh, my goodness, you got it, Don. Two. Men's club. I'm sorry, a lot of chauvinistic answers there. <laughs> we'll, we'll be back right now. <laughs> Men's club is... Come along, come along. Get it? What? Wish you good luck. We're on the board there, Rex. 46 points. Nothing yet, but 300 is what we need. Point values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Just one hand. Mm -hmm. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Tell me something that happens that gets a long car trip off to a bad start. Yeah, you're late. Late! Four answers to beat him, right? Flat tire. A flat tire! The men of the men's club will be very proud of you, right? <laughs> Wonderful answer. Something that happens, it gets a long 
car trip off to a bad start. You forget something. Okay. You forget something? Okay. Um, I'd say your kids have to go to the bathroom. Okay. I told you to go before we start. Bathroom. Stop. Well, first strike, still a good answer. Slow. Okay. What happens to get a long car trip off to a bad start? Well, in our home, sometimes we get in a fight, an argument. Sure. Okay. A little argument? Let's polish it off right now. What is it? Uh, no gas. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That would make the trip very bad. <laughs> no gas! Uh, Two strikes. Uh, Rachel. Okay. Okay. And then it happens. Get a long car trip off to a bad start. We're going to get lost. Whoa. Yeah. That's there, darling. You got it all. It's not third strike. You get lost. Get sick. Someone get sick. Get sick. Somebody get sick. Someone 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 values. It's okay. <laughs> Four values are triple. Got to get on that board, all right? We're going to lot here. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Tell me something that you can always count on your parents having for you. Yeah. Money. Money! <laughs> Four answers will be it, Rachel. I'm going to say love. All you need is love. Something you always count on your parents having for you. Um, I'd have to say a place to stay. Come on. Yeah. You've always got a place to stay. Something that you can always count on your parents having for you. Uh, would support be the same thing as What's love? That? that would be a different answer. Yes. Yeah. Support. For support. You always count on your parents having for you, always. Presents. As in presents. As in presents. Okay. Gifts. Presents. Gifts. Presents! I wasn't that strong about that one. Come on. Come on. What about food? <laughs> We'd love to see it. Food! This will decide it. Point values are tripled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. In something that you bundle up. Yeah. Newspapers. Newspaper? One answer could beat it. Um, your baby. Bundle up your baby. Yes, yes, yes. Listen. When I get you, you're going to only have three seconds to answer it. I'm not going to repeat it, so listen. Name something that you bundle up. Um, yourself. When we, when bundle you up yeah. yourself. Yeah. Three seconds left. Yeah. Uh, someone who's sick. A sick person? Yeah. First strike, Rachel. Okay. Three you seconds. bundle up your trash. Okay. Um, you bundle up presents. Yeah! That's good, that's oh, good! All right, it's not for the strike. Presents! No! Laundry! 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 Laundry!
Laundry. There, you'll be bundling Laundry. up for big Laundry. money. If not, you're the champ. Laundry! Andy, our director, will be cross if I let you drift way over there. Tell me something that people like to replace as soon as it gets old. You said game show. Uh, no, you said oh, survey. Oh! The Dallas course in high school. You said history. Survey said. Guys, describe the pattern on your favorite pajamas. You said polka dots. Survey said. you eat by the handful, you said, peanuts, survey said, <laughs> you know as little, you said, baby, survey said, yeah, Same questions I asked your sister. If you duplicate her answers, you'll hear this. I'll say try again and give me another answer. We're going to do it, aren't we? Got it. Okay. 25 seconds on the clock, please. We wish you luck, and the time will start when I finish reading the very first question. Tell me something that people like to replace as soon as it gets old. Tired. The dullest course in high school. History. Try again. Math. Describe the pattern on your favorite pajamas. Flat. A snack that you eat by the handful. M&M. &M. Something that's cuter when it's little. Puppies. Turn around. Give <laughs> me something people like to replace as soon as it gets old. Car was number one. You said tires. <laughs> Survey said. Great. You got one for it. The Dallas Horns in high school. You said. I thought you were saying mass and you had a list. <laughs> math. That was number one. It was worth six to get all the money. Surface, eh? <laughs> Very good. Number one answer, Derek. You try to pattern on your favorite pajamas. Mine was the number one answer. Flowers. That's what's on my pajamas. What did you say was on yours? Flat? Flat. We need 29 points. Survey said. You got one, Snack, <laughs> did you eat by the handful? You said M&M's. 23 points, please. Survey set. 10. Come out, Poppy, bring oh, the power. Number one. <laughs> and then in something that's cuter, one is little. You said, Poppy, $13.7,000. Bring me the biggest dog you've ever <laughs> seen. Come on, Poppy, <laughs> young man, Warren Wreck, never got a chance, so they were very, very sweet. Derek said, Seth, come up here and help us out. Yeah. $7,000 you got. Yeah. And you're going to meet the champ. The champ you're going to meet for a whole lot of money. Were you watching? We love them. We love you. We'll see you on the street. Star 
family feud, Richard Dawson. You saw him, you loved him, didn't you? Milner! Yeah! That was great. Yeah. You did that oh, boy, I was very <laughs> proud of the way you played. Thank you, Richard. Let's meet the gang one more time, please. This is my handsome son, Derek, who is a computer consultant. And a good, fast money player. My sweet daughter, Taloria, who is a receptionist. Similario. And my wonderful mother, Larissa, who is a retired from data processor. All right. Give him a big welcome. Oh, tell me what you are, Tommy. And I work for the post office. I'm a letter carrier for 29 years. Really? Yes. Here in L.A.? Yes. Now, they go out in every kind of weather. I want a much bigger hand. Yeah, yeah! They yeah. deliver the mail. Yeah. It's a lie you do. You never want to get them angry. <laughs> Haven't you read it? Disgruntled person never <laughs> We love them. You're doing uh, lovely you. work. Thank you. I wish you told me. I'd been a bit nicer earlier on. <laughs> How you doing, my angel? Oh, wonderful. And your name is Hap. Oh, that's right. And this is your aunt? My grandmother. Is this your grandma? My yeah. grandmother. What a sweetie pie you are, my dear. <laughs> now, right here are the champs. Day five in the Saki. Day, we've not got a lot of money, have we? Mm -hmm. How much money, Reed? Look, $6,080. This is your fifth day. This day fifth These day. rascals did one show. And got... Let's meet the gang. Is my brother, Alvo. Are you doing, champ? She's Very in good. electrician. Good. My sister, Annie. Hello, Annie. She has a word processing editing service at home. Yes. And that's my sister, Susie. Mother Mother of three. Mother of three and a homemaker. And a good player. And a good player. Yeah. You know I'm proud of you. Welcome. Now, if we get out there, let's win the big one. We're going to win it this We're time. Do, right? That's right. You know, root for you and win that. So my ma is happy and proud. Mm -hmm. I want to say hi to my kids. Why, don't you talk to them at home, Susie? What the? Yes. <laughs> I want to say hi, Elizabeth and uh, Josephine. And happy birthday, Christopher. It's my son's Elizabeth. birthday today. No, wait. Is that, well, so aren't you giving him a party and presents and stuff like that? Well, we had to come here, so. Yeah, to hell with it. We can do something. No, no. Do happy something. birthday. We'll see you later. Happy All right. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put 5000 in the bank. I'll put 5000 in that bank. Come on, let's do it right now. Yeah, that's the least you'll play for. And we can put a whole lot more money in there. Three questions here were varying amounts of money. The bankroll question was $1,000. You know what we're looking for, that number one answer. Here we go. Name an alcoholic beverage people use in cooking. Yes. Wine. Wine for the money. Wine for the money. Well done, Lobo. 6000 the very least you'll play for. This question is worth $3,000. Here it is. In something a little kid does when he has a nightmare. Yes, sir. Uh, cries for his mother. Cries for Mama. <laughs> Good time to make a move here. Last bankroll question is worth $5,000. Looking for that number one answer. Here we go. In something you might see people riding on in a circus parade. Yes, elephant. One big elephant for five grand. You see what I mean? Little pep talk. The chance to play for 9,000 still is 10,000. But to get to that magic moment, they got to win the few. Oh, I ride an elephant. We'll be back right after this. Three hundred points. All you need. Step up and play for fast money. One hundred people surveyed. Top six answers on the board. Here's the question: In something New York City has lots of life. Life. No, tell me. Something New York City has lots of people. People. Yeah, you got it. Well done. 
You get it? If not, give it to Tommy and the family. Club! You got it. Great! Right. I always say you can never have too much. here yet, but point values are doubled. 100 people survey, top five answers on the board. Here's the question. What threat do parents use to make their... Yeah. Put them on punishment. Pardon? Put them on punishment. We need a specific punishment. Make them go to their room. Make them go to their room? All right. Two answers could beat it. I'll read it, and you'll hear the whole question. What threat do parents use to make their kids finish dinner? Uh, no sweets. No sweets! Yeah. Very good. Who, who did the interpretation and yelled, no desserts? Is that you? <laughs> Said, no sweets. No dessert. <laughs> okay, no baklava. <laughs> what threats the parents use to make the kids finish dinner? I would say, um, keep them from watching TV. Yes. Good. You will not be watching Love Connection unless you finish your dinner. <laughs> I'm going to say we're sure um, you can't have friends over. Yeah. Okay. Friends over if you don't eat your dinner or you can't have your friends. Come on. No friends over. <laughs> One more. You got no strikes. Sweet me time. The threat the parents use to make the kids finish dinner. Okay, is um, going out the same as camp play? Yes. It's the same? Okay, I'm going to say no allowance. Yeah! No. <laughs> there you got it all. No allowance! <laughs> oh, okay, that was good. Other. Okay. Looking What's for a threat that the parents use to make the kids uh, finish their dinner. Uh, they'll get grounded. Get grounded? Okay. Gonna ground you! Oh, come on. Come on, honey. What threat do they use to keep, make them eat dinner? Finish dinner. Finish dinner. Um, no breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mom, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You'll have no breakfast. I don't mind, Mom. I'm not joking. There'll be no breakfast! Well, we don't care. No breakfast! Oh, no! Take away the toys! Take away the toys! 
good for them. Take away the toys. It's good for them. Take away the toys. Take away the toys. How about buy the buy buy the Take away the toys. Take away the toys. Take away the toys. Buy them and take their toys. Take their toys away. Yeah. Uh huh. There you got it, big lead. If not, really, you're on the board. Take those toys away. Oh, oh, I see. Drive it. Five, please. Can't leave the table. 194, 71. Come on. Okay. Those of you do well are no breakfast. I'm not kidding. No breakfast if you don't do well. Point values are tripled. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a place where people confess all. Where people confess all. So it's dead. Okay. Church! Yeah. Psychiatrist is off. Oh, uh, yeah. I say anyone who goes to a psychiatrist should have their head examined. <laughs> Where people confess all. How about a bar? Yeah. Yeah. Bar. Yes. You know you're confessional. Come on, sweet. At confession. Well, that's a church, Don. Huh? Yeah. Oh, oh. Three seconds now. A place where people confess all. Yeah. What do you say, Tom? Is a judge. The judge in court judge would be in the court same. The yeah. same. Place where people confess all. Three seconds. Okay. You got it. You keep your title. If not, new champs over there. A place where people confess all. Hot shows. Yeah. Wow. Angel, I think that's a great answer. You say you keep your title. Talk show. From Baklava, you were a great chap. Six thousand made dollars. Jet Bond and Jeff. We had a great time. Classy, classy people. Thank you very much, Richard. Which one's birthday? Uh, Christopher, it's my son's birthday. Okay. Who plays? Come on. Brand new kids in town. They will play for ten thousand dollars right after we watch this. Like we've done this before. Well, it seems to me we've done this before. Last time we stood here, we were playing for seven thousand. Now we're going to play for ten. Ten thousand. This goes on and on. <laughs> and you just thrown a, a wonderful champion family just to get here. So congratulations, Thank you. Thank you. brother Derek is off stage in a big plastic baggie. You can't <laughs> can't hear us. Let's do what we did the last time. Get a great score, okay? 20 seconds on the clock, please. We all wish you luck. The time will stop when I finish reading the very first question. In what grade do kids start worrying about getting fat? Sixth grade. A famous lake in the United States. Michigan. A quiet animal. A cat. An appliance people rent. Resterio. A way students cheat on tests. Right on their arm. Okay, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> you you do well. What grade do kids start worrying about getting fat? You said sixth grade. That's kind of sad, though, to think. Isn't it? You know that, or Oh, very good. Same as Lake in the United States. And you said Michigan survey said. Yes! 
Quiet animal, you said. The pussycat, the server said. Oh! Why is the people red, you said. Stereo, stereo. Server said. How do you get one of those steel? A wrench or buy, aren't you? And away the students cheat on the test. You said they write the answers on their arm. They said. All right. Here comes Brother Derek. Right out. You've got the brightest sister. I'll ask the same questions that I asked her. You can't duplicate the answers. Do you hear this? I'll say try again. You give me another answer, okay? 78 points from $10,000. We wish you luck. We're going to do it? I think so. A little louder. I think so. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> All right. 25 seconds on the clock, please. I will start when I finish reading the very first question. We wish you luck. In what grade do kids start worrying about getting fat? Six. Try again. Seven. A famous lake in the United States. Here. A quiet animal. Snake. An appliance people rent. TV. Oh. A, a way students cheat on tests. Write notes in the hand. Try again. Uh, whisper to a friend. Okay. All right. Which grade the kids start worrying about getting stuff? You said the seventh grade. Do they said? One day. Sixth grade was number one, and we're 58 points from $10,000. Famous lake in the United States. Michigan was number one, you said. Isn't that earring? Do they said? Now, 36 points away. A quiet animal. Cat was number one. You did a great one. They're very, very quiet, aren't they? I hate them. Snakes. Ooh. Just even to think of one makes me go, boo. <laughs> oh, see, cat. Cat number one. Those snakes are not talking. They're 168. An appliance that people rent, and you said? TV or not TV? 32 points. $10,000. Survey said? Oh! Right on money! TV was number one! Whoa! Derek! Derek! What a joke! When Derek gave me the answer, put him right on the money, you know, 200, bam, the guy with TV. I was so proud of him. I thought he also gave me the number one answer for how do students cheat. The answer he said was that they whisper zero. Wow. He's so good now, he just needs four answers to win the money. <laughs> yeah, coffee, you know copy from your neighbors. I'm doing this because it's so painful to me to explain to our production company that we've just lost $17,000. I'm delighted, Justin. We love you. We'll see you here on the show. Well done. Some departing contestants will receive.